the native slayer max 12.5 propel review in no particular order the top five pros and cons and remember if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like these kind of videos hey go ahead and hit that subscribe button pro number one is going to be stability the native slayer max hey anybody's gonna be able to stand up on this thing and not gonna have a problem so if you're looking for a kayak with stability the native slayer max definitely has it i don't think it probably has as much as the native titan of course because the titan's gonna be a little wider but this thing's gonna be a lot faster and you can stand up on it no problem it don't matter if you're athletic or whatever the case may be you're not gonna have a problem this thing is definitely stable con number one remember these are in no particular order i'm just doing the top five pros and cons scupper plug leak as you've probably seen in some of my other videos hey i've got some water coming up in the front through the scupper plugs and i've already contacted native and hey they're sending me out a new set so i'm gonna give those a try i mean that's it's kind of a minor problem you know i wear dry boots so it doesn't really matter but you definitely don't want your boat leaking because over time hey if you keep getting more and more water in there sink down in the water some and i'll definitely update you in the future if that problem is solved with the new scupper plugs pro number two the seat the seat is very comfortable and it's a high seat so it's easy to stand up easy to get in easy to sit down and you don't have any problem but that's going to bring me to con number two which is also the seat crazy enough the seat does squeak sometimes i don't know if it's because the boat is still pretty new and it has been doing it less than it was at the beginning so the seat does squeak a little bit it's not a terrible squeak it's just something it, it may annoy some people sometimes and it's definitely doing a lot less than it was when it was new but it's just something that i think you should know about before you go pick one up pro number three the built-in features i like the storage compartment up front that's for the battery you know where you can put your electronics and run your wires up to it and it's already pre-padded and you can also run your transducer down from there it's got a built-in spot to run the wire through and your propel drive also already has features built in like the weed guard something that hey all of them should come like that you would think if people are upgrading and doing that all the time hey just go ahead and come with it hey native went on ahead and made that happen and the pedals the pedals are basically an upgrade so you can put your little pegs in so your feet won't slip i haven't been using mine but it's definitely something yet hey you might want to use con number three and to me this is a big one the landing gear is not included you would think for what you pay for this thing that hey you'd have something to be able to move this thing around you got to buy your own landing gear to me it should come with the landing gear when you're paying this much for a kayak but that's how they pretty much all are across the industry none of them are going to come with the landing gear so it's not a huge con i guess it's just something that you're gonna have to deal with and buy but at the time when i purchased mine native theirs wasn't even available so i had to go with the boondocks and i of course i'd rather have the native one because it goes with the kayak so not a major deal but it's just something that you need to know about that you're gonna have to spend extra money on because you're gonna be trying to move this thing around and it's heavy and it's not that you couldn't just drag it around but if you did you're gonna mess up the rudder pro number four it's got good speed with the new propel drive the new 701 propel drive hey it definitely gets this kayak moving this kayak's about 13 feet long you know and it's got kind of like the rocker front to it so it definitely has some good speed a lot more than my other kayak that's for sure and it's definitely gonna be a lot faster than some that are a lot wider and those aren't going to have enough stability on top of this one for me to justify getting one of those when it's going to be much slower con number four this is kind of something i already touched on before is the price while it's definitely worth the price in my opinion hey it's definitely still high and it's something that you're going to have to definitely think about when you're looking at one of these kayaks there's kayaks on the market that are going to be cheaper but they're definitely not going to come with the features that this one comes with so it's definitely a con for somebody that can't afford to spend this much money on a kayak now would i still recommend it of course i would i love it and pro number five to me the most important thing fish ability hey how is it to fish on this thing hey that's the most important thing because that's what you're trying to get out there and do and to me this thing is very easy to fish from you can stand up like i said you can sit down and the seat is very comfortable all the different things i've been talking about all those add up into being a kayak hey that you're going to want to fish out of and you're going to want to take it out because if it's not easy to fish from you're not going to take the thing out if you don't like it and con number five remember these are in no particular order is the turning radius you definitely need some room to get this thing turning once it starts getting some speed up it starts turning it turns pretty good but from a dead stop and then trying to start pedaling and turning it's going to go straight a little ways before it starts turning because it needs to get that speed built up because the thing is so long so that's definitely to me a con if you're really close to something you're gonna have to back up a little bit go in reverse and then go back forward so if you're trying to get in some tight spots with this hey you might not be able to do it so bottom line would i recommend this kayak to you yes i would 
And remember, if you want to pick one of these kayaks up, I definitely have a link down in the description. And if you use that link, you're going to be helping out my channel because I'm going to make a little money off of that and be able to buy more stuff from my kayak, buy more camera equipment, whatever the case may be, and go make more videos. So if you got any more questions about the Native Slayer Max, hey, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer those. And remember, if you're not already a subscriber, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.